everybody and welcome back to FM 2020 with me TW1 as manager of York City. We are starting the second season today. We're going to be starting off the league form as well. I simmed up ready for the first game against Hereford, ironically, the team that won the league by one point last year in the same division as us to get promoted into the Valarama National League. So we are one league away from the big time now. We've got some bigger sides in this league. Uh, just having a quick look. Yeovil, Wrexham, uh, Notts County, Northampton, Hartlepool. They're all bigger sides in my opinion. I recognise a lot of them from you know, past FIFAs really. And like League 1, League 2 sides from the old career modes. Career modes and stuff like that. So... Before this episode, there's going to be one game this episode, it will be the Hereford game, but before we get into that, I need to do a quick catch-up, because at the end of last season, if you remembered, our squad was all running out of contracts, and I had a lot of decisions to make, and we have stripped this squad down to his bare bones. I'm still trying to sign a couple of people, but let's go through transfers and look through the transfer histories. These are two players that we are still trying to get in. Uh, let's go through these very quickly. So Taylor uh, Maloney, Maloney is a central midfielder who can pass the football. He's got 15 vision. That is the only reason I want him because he can actually pass the football. I have went and bought a couple of midfielders and then I realised none of them can pass. And I was like, oh balls. I also recognise this guy from a previous FM save in the past that I had. Where I was Salford City and he uh, he was quite good for me then. So I decided to bring him along for this one as well. If he'll join. We've also got uh, Maya who, or Maya, whatever you want to call, is a right back who's very, very solid really. It's more of a defensive option. But looking at his height and the fact that he's six foot two, um, moves the ball to the right. He dives into tackles is a little concerning. He's a centre-half option for me, in my opinion. He's a centre-half option. He could play one of the wide centre-half roles in our, back, in our back five that we play. We play a back five. So he can be one of the wide centre-halves as well, as well as a right-back. And I can fill in a, in CDM if I, if I need him in a pinch. So he's a very versatile player as well, which is a bonus. Hoping to bring this guy in as well. Let's go out of this screen and go to the transfer history. And you're going to see... That we have brought in quite a lot of players. Let's scroll back to the end of last year. Oh, I can't show you all the players that left on a free. I, at some point, I'll try and work out how to show that. Um, but yeah, here's all the players that we have brought in. Let's go down there very quickly. Cameron Stanley is a 19-year-old striker with lots of promise. He's a poacher. Just picked him up on a cheap, really. He's ex-Everton Academy. I was like, yes, we'll have some of that. We will have some of that. He's only 19. Bags of potential. He's just going to be a nice little squad player for us, really. I'm going to try and get some time out of him. Seb... Uh, yeah, Quirk? Quirk. I'm going to say Quirk. He's a right winger, and if you look at his technicals, they're a bit poo. And I can see why Everton, the football club, released him. His mentals are all right. That you know, them three are pretty decent, but that that is a little bit tasty for a player in this division. Fifteen acceleration, thirteen pace, lots of fitness as well. He can cause some issues. He's also very versatile. Look at the amount of positions he can play on the left in cam. He knows a little bit of right. He knows a bit of right back and a little bit of left back. Uh, I'm currently training him to play right wing back as well. So I'm just gonna. Use him as a nice squad player who can fit all over the place. He's a regular starter of the contract because that's what I had to give him. Um, he might get dropped down to a squad player very quickly, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, one, one is, he's not Spanish, despite having a one in his name. He's Austrian and he's a ball winner midfielder because, you know, I felt like I needed another one, clearly. I didn't really need a, another ball winner midfielder. I just saw 18 aggression and 14 tackling and got a little excited and maybe got him because I shouldn't have really. He's also only 18 and I saw profit. That's what I saw when I bought, picked this guy up. I saw lots and lots of profit and went, yes, yes, please. Uh, so that is this guy. We all know who this guy is. Keithley Mooley, 
who was at Hereford, then Hull picked him up. We tried to get him in on loan last January. We've now got him in on loan from Hull for the season. A disgusting striker, really. Just for his physicals, really. He's six foot two, got a bit of weight to him. 14 pace, 14 acceleration. Finishing's not great. His technicals and mentals aren't everything. But I feel like you just feed balls over the top and he's going to latch onto a lot of them. And eventually some are going to start flying in the back of the net. We know last year he scored bags of goals in the first half of the season. Uh, then we've got this guy. I'm um, Jubril. Jubril Okakendia. Ok Okondia? Yeah, not a, not a chew. Not a clue. He's 19. He's from Spurs. Uh, academy. He is a central defender who's six foot. And he's all right. He's all right. I just saw nineteen. I thought, yeah, that'll do. It's a nice little squad player, really. He's got fourteen headed. He's got fourteen headed and eleven jump reach. He's got six strength. That's an issue, but yeah, that'll that'll do. He can't. He's blind. He's legally blind. He's got two vision. But anyway, he, he's a nice little squad player. A young little squad player to fill out the squad. We've now got Charlie Doyle, because is another ball winning midfielder. Because I felt like I needed about four of them in this league. I I again just saw eighty aggression, ninety bravery, and went, yeah, we'll have some of that. He also can't tackle, so I've got a board. I've got a board, but he can't really tackle. He can't cross. He can't dribble, so he can't really play right back either. He's too short to play centre half. But as again, he's twenty one. He's got. A little bit of potential. He's from Blackburn's Academy. We may get some good squad depth out of him. I've got him through as a breaking through prospect. So he's just squad depth really. And if he grows and develops. We may be able to sell him for a little bit more money. Um, clearly Duke disagrees with that. That was a grumble. He's not a fan. He's not a fan of you Doyle. Doyle Duke is not a fan. That is confirmed. And then we've got Jack Young. Which is another ball winning midfielder. You see what I mean? I got a little bit carried away with midfielders. And none of them are great. That was the issue. I'm not. I'm looking at this guy now. And I can't remember why I picked him up. Oh, I know I can pick him up. It's not central midfielder. He looks like a alright defensive winger to me. And I thought that'll do. And he likes switching the ball. So, yeah. He's also another breaking through prospect. Who's wanted by Blythe on loan. It's just, you know, picking up some youngsters for little to no money to see if we can make a little bit of profit. If we can, we can. If we can't, we can't. That is how that goes. Um, is there any, like, how do I show release players? There we go. Released players. Oh, my word. Yeah, see, that is a long list. The Tate, Joe Tate is gone. The Tate is gone. Bond is gone. He wanted so much money. I like Dandy Bond and I want to keep him, but no, he won't. Tom Allen, he went as well. He was just a bit meh. Kieran Green was awful. Newton, again, I tried to keep Newton, but he wanted so much wages. I was not having any of it. Moke, I was glad to finally get rid of him. Jordan Burrow was having none of it. He didn't want to stay at all. Uh, Jake Watson is a 19-year-old who's a bit meh of a centre-half, so I just let him go. He's all right, really, looking at him, but he's not, he's not great. I thought we could do a little bit better. Elliot Durrell... I hummed and hard over this lad quite a while, and I'm still hummed and hard him over a little bit still, but I don't know where he fits in the side, really, and he is 30 years old, so uh, has he got good leadership? No, because we, we do have a leadership void at the moment, so if any of these had good leadership, I may try and bring them back, but meh. Dan Maguire, again, a striker. He looks better than Mooney, um, or Mooney, uh, technical-wise and mental-wise, but it's that that's killing him. He's, you know, we're playing a system that needs lots of running and lots of speed. So, um, and then Langstaff went as well. He's just a bit meh. He's wanted by someone who you want to play. Kingsling, Kingsling, uh, want you. So go, you can go back to that league and you can do some damage down there. He did all right for us last year, but nah. So we got rid of quite a few players. No more release from last year. So that is all that. Now you're caught up with that. Uh, tactics wise in my head this is our primary tactic now 
Uh, I'm not using... I'm going to try and avoid use this. I may even delete it right now. Shall we delete it? Should we just get rid of it? Uh, yeah, let's clear slot. We'll clear a slot. We're going to keep this as our time-wasting tactic. I like this as a time-wasting tactic. This is our primary tactic. Let's just do a quick pick to put the team back to where it should be. Thank you very much, game. Not all oh, the freaking king and ball-playing defender. He can't pass, I don't think. Yeah, one pass and one vision. He's not a ball-playing defender, is he? Jesus, game. Um, so yeah, this is what I think we're going to go with as our primary tactics. Dyer, Ferguson on the old flankerinis. Uh, this up front slot right here is open. Currently it's Kempster because McFarlane's injured and Cameron Stanley, the little lad, is coming back from an injury. So at the moment it looks like, oh, we've got Jake Wright. Oh, Jay Wright is a guy who was out on low last year in Boston, and then for some reason, because I had staff set up wrong, he got signed to a contract, which I'm not greatly happy about. And then I realised he's a pressing 4 to 15 work rate, and I thought, meh, I'll keep him as a fringe player. He may help us out this season, so not too upset he's about. Um, so yeah, that's about that. Uh, this is the tactic we're going to gonna go with. We're going to go on balance now. We're not going to be quite as aggressive. Because I don't want to be quite as aggressive anymore. I think in the higher league we may get found out a little bit more. So we're going to go a little bit less. We're going to go balance instead of attacking. And then we can change it in the game. Depending how it goes. Um, all in all that is pretty good. If you look at the squad it's. It's a bit small. It's currently 18 players. So if we bring in... Is that 18? Uh, 11 plus 5 is 16. That would be 19. Good English. Good maths. I was good at maths at school. You wouldn't believe it. I was. So we get the two more that we're currently trying to sign. That would be 21. I'd like maybe one more player. Maybe one or two. Um, do we have any in the youth development? Any youth candidates who could go up? and look all right youth candidates where are you under 18s under 18s hello there we go um did you did you are you not in the first team squad yeah you can go in the first team squad there's another player you look all right charlie doyle you can go in the first team squad that is what you're going to be all about and then yeah we have a couple of players down here that we can use at some point you are meant to be in the first team squad as well even though you're only a bit meh and uh, we'll try and get some of these other players in, like you, at some point, with your... Well, it's quick. I'll give him that. You can't cross a football, though. And you're a winger. That's concerning. you got four vision. Okay. Anyway, let's get to the first game. So all I have to do is go to fixtures and go to match preview, because I've loaded it up all perfectly ready for this. We haven't, won, we haven't beaten Hereford yet. We haven't got a draw against them yet, but we are favourites for this. Oh, very quickly, very quickly. League table, season preview, we are predicted 14th. So that is the aim of the game, minimum is 14th. Hereford are predicted 22nd, so well done us. We're apparently done better than them in January. So we will find out how this goes. So yeah, let's get to the team selection and work out who we want in our first game of the season. Um, I don't think we have many options, really, because we've kind of um, decimated our squad, really. That's pretty much what we've done, so we're going to have to just go with it, I think. Where are all these... Oh, there you are. I was like, I've signed so many midfielders, and I don't see that many midfielders. I'm confused. I am confused. I suppose all of them are playing. Are they on it? You're playing. Yeah, you're playing. You're playing. As a DM. What is crackling? Oh, I've got a biscuit packet on my mic. On my mouse. That's going to make some bad noise. Right, let's go. Submit team. No, you're not ready. You're not ready. You're not ready. Yeah, it's been a pretty bad pre-season. We've had a couple of bad injuries at a bad time as well. So we are kind of winging it into the uh, into the first game of the season. Pre-season hasn't gone great. Um, Hasn't gone great for injury-wise. I will quickly just show you the form. We won every single game, apart from the Kidderminster game, and Kidderminster are the league below us, so it goes well. I, I I could very quickly show you, like if you look at some of these like team lists, 
I've been playing like random players who I've had in on like trials and stuff like this guy who are you for instance this guy I've just been trying to find lots and lots of players with uh, on free trials to look at them you are a central defender with 15 acceleration and 14 pace wow if you had some sort of technicals you'd be so good you're terrible though so let's submit the team it's a bit meh um, I'm a little bit nervous about this because now we're in the big time. But as, as we're playing, well, I say the big time. We're up one league. But as we're up against Hereford, we should be all right. Saying that this is the one team that has battered e any formation that we've played against them. So let's see how this goes. Uh, let's try and get some sort of positive reaction out of a team talk. Jesus, game. Um... Oh, I've got another coaching bag. They've uh, they've accepted me to go on another coaching course. I'm going to get some more qualifications. They said something about, like, I don't know if it was off screen or not, but, like, I might have been at the end of the last season. I'm not 100% sure. They said they didn't want to give me one the first time because they were worried my reputation would be too high for the club and another team would come in for me. And I was like, just, shh. oh, we're one nil down. Really? Oh, frickin' hell. What is it with Hereford? Hereford are like our bogey team. Why does Hereford have our number so badly? Take a sip of tea. Take a sip of tea. Go on, Kempster. Come on, son. Ah. I am a little nervous about this season. I am a little bit nervous. I'm worried that we're just going to kind of fall flat on our face but we shall soon find out oh keep you can't like that would just that just didn't look very good in my opinion that was a little concerning what are you doing number seven who are you number seven oh, stop 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 what are you doing back there why are you just standing on the edge of the box like a freaking melon pass the football we are losing guys i know it's only nine minutes into the game but a little bit of urgency might not go amiss. Oh, that's a good ball over top. Let's use his pace. Oh, he gets his old side. Oh, he's offside, to be fair. We can utilise that. We can just go a little bit long ball this year and go a little bit counter-attacking long ball and lump it to Mooney. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Sprat. Marrick. Oh, that was a bit, that was a bit meh, wasn't it? That's a bit there. No one's come in for any of the players that I signed last year. Like, no one's come in for, like, Ben or Marrick or anything yet. So, we haven't made any, like, crazy profits or any players. That is the aim of the game, is to try and make some profits. Oh, Ben with a little header against the crossbar. It's been all right. It's been a better um, 15 minutes. We've had more of the ball. We've had some chances. Just need to find the back of the net now, don't we? Marrick. Go on, son. Oh, go on, Ferguson. Um, um, no, no, that didn't just happen, did it? Are you serious? I'm, I'm gobsmacked. What the f*** was that? Oh, no, we're giving away a penalty. Oh, this game is a joke. This game is an utter joke. What here is Hereford? Hereford is such a dick of a team. Save it, keep. Oh, get in. Get in. Get in, keeps. Right, demand more. Ferguson, how did you miss the goal? You had an open goal. I know it's on the angle, but it's not hard. You could have, like... You could have, like, swung your leg like it was a putter for a golf course and, like, putted it into the bottom corner. It's not hard. Oh, that is freaking terrible. You are looking aggressive. Brilliant. You are looking aggressive. I like it. Not. Has won the ball back and lost it. And we've got law, poor conversion from shots, entries into into shots. So we enter the follow third a lot. We don't shoot very much. Aggressive. Show me something else. Because that was shit. Um, let's go to tactics. Where? What are we doing? What are we doing? Work the ball into the box. Let's stop working the ball into the box. Let's just and let's let's raise the tempo up a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. 
<sighs> I don't know what to say about that, really. That was just terrible. That's talking to Daryl. That's a shit ball across the bench. I'm really glad that I decided to start my morning by playing FM this morning because it's going to make me great. I haven't played in about a week and a half because I had a lot of footage pre-recorded. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. I'm playing a lot of City Skylines instead, but I've been playing Destiny off-screen as well, but... Ah. Oh. This is going to ruin my morning. This is the day before my birthday. Let's, let's just have a day where we actually play well. I know it's not my birthday yet. No, 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 no. You, Where are you? Where Where are you? Tactics, tactics, tactics. Calm the frick down. Ease off tackles. Just don't be a melon. Go on, Moody. Play the board Kempster. Or shoot. Oh, good hit, son. Oh, good hit, son. Good hit. Get in one. Pascal Juan Estrada, the Austrian, because of course, he, of course he's Austrian. He's not Spanish at all. So Mooney drives forward, has a good little run, shots block, and he just pings it first time. That is a great strike. Would you like to proceed with this? Yeah, because I don't want him to dive into tackle still, especially as he's got that ability. Um, get creative. Get creative, boys. Oh, Ferguson's at it. He's gone. Um... Who's going left back? Who is going left wing back? You are. You are? Yeah, you are, I think. Wait, was I training like Marek to play left wing back or something? Or No, I was training Marek to play right right wing defence role, whatever it is. That we're not playing anymore because I'm gonna delete that we've deleted that tactic because I don't want to use it because it's off the workshop. It got us promoted. That is the first job. We're now in the big time. It's time to take over the job myself. There's no being monocoddled anymore. Go on, Dyer. Whip it in, son. Kemp's just going for it. Ooh. Ben, good bit of recycling and possess. Now try and pick out a pass. He finds Kemp's death. That's a bit of a shit shot. Estrada with another little cheeky cha challenge. Picks up a yellow card. I might take him off, to be honest. I would like to take him off. Can we? Can we take him off? Um, yeah, so... Alright, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it, because I need to make some tactical, tactical nousy stuff. So, Marek is going to drop into that role. Kempster's going to come on, uh, he's going to drop into the attacking role. Ben's going into support, and then we're going to throw Jake up top. Be Jake right in the pressing forward role that he loves and adores. And then we'll press play and get some more of this action going. They're certainly means having a dreadful game. You've twisted your knee. How bad is a twisted knee? Potential knee injury. Can you play on? Because I don't really have a left wing back. I don't really have a left back on the pitch at all. So it would be great if you could just play on. Hit that Kempster. All right. Oh. Ooh. We just dropped down to 14th in the league. That's exactly where we need to be, boys. We'll have some more of that. Oh, it's going to make a little team talk. Oh, King! With a little volley of his left peg. Just tipped over the bar. It looks like it was tipped over the bar. Just hit the crossbar, all the counts. Um, get creative. Tactics. Do I go into the shutdown tactic? Do we try and shut it down? You know what? Quirk, you can play everywhere. So I'm sure you can play left wing back. Why not? Let's just throw you on there, youngster. Go on, lad. Just run about. Go on, Ben. Oh, I like the curve. That was good curvature. Good curvature, that. Good curvature. Oh, don't concede at the end. Come on. We'll take a draw. Hang on. What's going on? We've given another penalty away. That was a dubious decision. What is going on? Oh, come on, keep. Get in. This keep is a hero at penalties. He is an absolute hero at penalty taking. Suck one, Hereford. I'm getting a draw out of you. Suck one. You're a, you're a dick. We hate you, Hereford. I'm pointing at the TV screen. What is it with Hereford? Why why does our team like play like absolute drivels against Hereford? Why are the refs so biased against us when we play Hereford? They just gave two penalties away for no reason. That centre half played well. There was a lot of appearances, wasn't it? You are the youngest ever player in the Marama now. Hello, lad. They're playing like a sixteen-year-old. They're uh, they're doing well. God, two two penalty saves. Two penalty saves. Um, I'm gonna say you're unlucky. 
I want to say you were great. I'm proud that you saved the penalty in the way you played. That was great, boys. Um, that's about it, really, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I want to calmly say that I took you off because you got a yellow card. Can we say that? Yeah. There we go. Not in agreement. Yeah, he knows it. He knows he was going to clatter someone. Um, so this is the end of the first episode. I want to call it here. I don't know how long it's going to be, but I don't want it to be too long. I'm going to play a couple of games, then we'll come back for a couple of games, play a couple of games, and come back for a couple of games. That is how we're going to try and do this season. Uh, because... Oh, he played alright, to be fair. Well done, lad. I'm not going to praise you. It's only at 8.3. Um, yeah, I want to try and make it so it's around 15 episodes a season. That's what I think the pacing will be. 15 to 10, in that range. Last year it was 11, so... Maybe 12 or 13 this year. Let's see how it goes. So, yeah, I will see you next time for the team. What game are we going to play? So, if I play a couple, I'll play Floyd and Eepsfleet. Ebsfleet. And I'll come back for the Bromley and Walking game. Woking. And, yeah, so there we go. I'll cut you back on the 15th or the 8th for the Bromley game. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I have been TDV1. Uh, and, and always, and I was, uh, and as always, oh, freaking hell, I ruined his outro about seven times now. <sighs> Take two on the outro. Anyways, thank you very much. I've been TW1, and as always, peace out.